Hey guys, Peter again from Freener Star Bushcoff. Um, I turned on and just sitting here playing out in the yard and uh, turned on thought there last weekend when Cody and I turned, went out and uh, did our Bushcoff weekend. One of the things I found was that little saw that, that uh, Cody had and we were using just wasn't doing it for processing that firewood. And uh, I've seen a uh, bow saw that I was watching, and I had seen that Mike Barton actually from Bushcraft Bartons had turned around and got a really nice one. And um, unfortunately, money doesn't allow me to turn around and want to get one that nice. Um, I was looking online, and um, Mike turned around and had his up there. It was probably about two years ago um, from the Northwest Woods, and uh, I was looking at them, and uh, they turned around, and now price-wise, they've gone up to about uh, 48 bucks. Um, for the saw itself and then it's like another $13 or something like that for the bag and all said and done to have it shipped um, it, it would have cost me about 60 bucks um, so I turned around and thought I think I could make one of those like I've seen many people turn around and do on YouTube so uh, I turned around and made one now this is just rough I still got some more work that I want to turn around and do to it but uh, I'm going to today and it turned out it cost me about uh, oh, I'm into it probably for about 10 bucks uh, so far. It was just the um, most expensive thing, obviously, was a blade. So I got a, a Stanley blade and uh, turned around. And um, the wood is just uh, just used a 2x2. Two two. And obviously, a piece here in the center, but I'm going to kind of carve that all down. And I want to carve the handles here down, make it more so it fits your hand better and a lot nicer. Now, the only thing I didn't do, because unfortunately here, for the middle part, I know I've seen a lot of them where they, they kind of cut in and go in an angle. Well, I didn't have a chisel and I didn't really want to play around with it and turn out to ruin it. So what I did was that, uh, what I'll do is I'll take this apart. As I say, I just finished, so I just got it together. And I'll show you what I did for kind of using for the joint. I just used uh, dowels that, uh, that we had. So... the tightening bar and of course the paracord which we had you want stuff as Cody was talking about on his uh, uh, more companion knife so that if he threw it down he doesn't lose it <laughs> so. so yeah so I just used a little uh, uh, it's a quarter inch by uh, one and a half inch dowels and I just put them into the end, and then of course on the part for the blade, I turn around and got the hole there, so it just turns matches up. And I put two of them, and then just the uh, a bolt and the butterfly nuts on the bottom to to hold the blade. So kind of see if I can get this down. Bear with me, there, guys. See, I'm still getting used to using this camera. <laughs> Not as good as everybody else. So yeah, so I just kind of got the dowels there, if you can see that all right. And then uh, put the pieces in there. And of course the paracord on the top. And then what I do is I kind of start twisting it. Oh, I had to twist it a little too much there. There we go. Kind of get that in there. Then I can continue. Like I say, I want to carve this down more and... Uh, Make it smaller, rounder, a little more easier to handle. I figured it'd be a good way too. I just um, ordered a new, uh, the Mora spoon knife, um, which I'll show a little later on in another video. But the Mora spoon knife, as well as the uh, the little carver knife. So I figured it'd give me a good project to turn on and start on and just practice with. So as you can see, it's together there. And that's basically it. Really simple now. I know I've seen other ones too uh, where they, they kind of cut in along 
on the sides here and they have the blade so that it, it folds up into it. Um, eventually, obviously, I'm, I want to do that too with this one. Um, but I think this is being my first one. I'm uh, going to play around with it and kind of use it as a uh, use it as my starter bow saw and just kind of play with it and tweak it. As I tweak it and I make it a little better and stuff like that, I'll do updates and uh, put up on the channel of what I've done with it. And uh, for sure, you get everybody's opinion or comments or whatever. Think of what you think. Um, like I say, kind of our big thing and my big thing that I want to do, even with the experience and stuff that I have, unfortunately, is just bad luck and uh, money's not there like it used to be, unfortunately. Um, but I have all kinds of the knowledge. And uh, my thing is, is that I know a lot of people that talking about here, where I am in St. John, New Brunswick, that uh, they want to get out into the bush and stuff like that, but they just can't afford it. They don't have the money. Um, you know, they, they think like a lot of people do, uh, that they need hundreds and hundreds of dollars to, to buy all this gear and stuff. And as I tell them, no guys, you don't, you know, you can do it really, really cheap. Um, you know, as Cody and I started out, the army surplus store, getting our stuff back. Um, all said and done from that, all that stuff we had in that last video we were out, I've maybe turned around and spent maybe $100 uh, and, and turned around and purchasing all the new gear and stuff that we have. That's uh, with the sleeping bags, the uh, you know the kit bags, all that kind of stuff. As you see there, Cody did the, the one review that he did on his kit bag that we got him for like 15 bucks. Um, but I, So that's going to be kind of the big thing that I'm going to strive on because of the fact I am a budget bush crafter. And I'm going to do all my stuff on a budget and just show that, uh, you know, it's easy to do. The most expensive thing I turned on and spent, which I could have bought a lot more gear, was this video camera. Um, fortunately, I mean, it, it turned on and cost me 248 bucks for the video camera and about uh, $30 for the tripod. So, uh, may as well say almost $300 all said and done. Um, and that's just so I can turn around and, and do, the, do the channel, which uh, Cody's looking very forward to. And I just want to say too, anybody that's already commented, thanks again for all the comments um, so far on the stuff that we've put up. Uh, I know Cody's really tickled pink. He's been, uh, every morning he gets up before he goes to school and he wants to log in and he wants to look at the site, or at the channel, just to, to see the comments. Uh, he appreciates a lot and I thank everybody for it. Um, it makes me feel good, like I say, uh, he's one of, one of the three boys that I have that uh, is really into this stuff. So I kind of get choked up when I talk about it, but um, uh, it was something my father did with me, and unfortunately I lost my father about 10 years ago, and I think about that all the time, that he would have been tickled pink to turn around and know that uh, he had a grandson, as he does know, obviously, but uh, it would have been tickled pink that finally there's another boy in the family that uh, the knowledge will get passed down to, and uh, it's not going to turn around and die, as we thought was going to happen. So once again... Thanks a lot. Like, subscribe, comment. We read all the comments. We take them all to heart. And look at them with honesty. If there's anything you guys think of or anything you want us to turn around and, and mention or talk about, feel free. Let us know. All right? Thanks. Talk to you soon.